exercising whenever you can is still better than uh, not exercising at all, in my opinion. But a recent uh, 2022 study actually looked at what is the difference between you know, exercising later and uh, exercising earlier? How does it affect your cardiovascular disease mortality? Do it. Okay, so the study is setting a clock association between timing of objective physical activity and cardiovascular disease risk in the general population. Published 14th of November 2022. And uh, yeah, they actually had quite a lot of individuals, about uh, 86,000 participants, 58% uh, females. And the average age was 61 years old, average BMI 26. So it was actually pretty like normal weight people. They followed up over the course of six years, irrespective of total physical activity, morning physical, physical activity was associated with lower risks of incident cardiovascular diseases and ischemic stroke as well, which is actually pretty interesting that uh, exercising in the morning uh, appears to have a more protective effect in uh, cardiovascular disease, especially. So when you look at the graph, then uh, you can see that the lowest incidence for cardiovascular disease, coronary artery disease, is uh, yeah exercising between 8 a.m. until 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. somewhere between even like 1 p.m. is still a pretty um, low risk compared to like exercising in the middle of the night. So after midnight, between 1 a.m. or 1 1 a.m. and uh, 6 a.m. that is associated with a higher hazard ratio and like a higher incidence of coronary artery disease. The rest of the days are pretty like normal. They're uh, even at like 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. until 5 p.m. is also actually lower uh, like pattern of uh, these incidents of uh, cardiovascular disease. And you can see that it applies to the same for the stroke, same similar pattern so that exercising in the morning 8 a.m. to uh, 1 p.m. has lower risk Again, 3 p.m. some of the rear is also lower risk and uh, exercising in the middle of the night is associated with a greater risk of a stroke. Ischemic stroke, similar pattern exercising between yeah, 8 a.m. and 12 is a lower risk while, uh, while exercising in the uh, middle of the night is associated with a greater risk of uh, ischemic stroke. So the conclusion of the study is that individuals with a self-reported morning chronotype who were most active in the early morning had a 14% decreased risk of uh, coronary artery disease compared to the reference group. Additionally, individuals with a self-reported morning chronotype who were most active in the late morning had a 16% lower risk of uh, coronary artery disease incident compared with the reference group. So here we go. This is the study. It's actually pretty interesting. Uh, it does make sense from a lot of uh, aspects. So first of all, there's the circadian rhythm alignment. Humans are supposed to be active at daytime and not exercise at night. <laughs> so this kind of circadian disruption is uh, also already associated with cancer and heart disease that's considered like a carcinogen. There's other reasons why this may be so, like um, there's also the reason that if you do exercise in the morning, you know, you get it out of the way for the rest of the day, then you add like a better biomarker. Your body is in a more state of like this hormetic stress for the rest of the day as well. So you have like lower blood sugar levels for the rest of the day. You have lower blood pressure for the rest of the day if you exercise in the morning. And yeah, just better biomarkers for the rest of the day, which over the course of many years just keeps you healthier. Whereas if you, let's say, exercise in the middle of the night and you go to sleep around that time and you don't have a lot of time to capitalize on that increased insulin sensitivity if you exercise in the middle of the night, for example, independent of the uh, circadian mismatch. This also reminded me of another recent study in August 2022 that talked about uh, how uh, these uh, NAD boosters in uh, mice uh, work only in improving metabolic health if you take them at the beginning of the active phase. So in mice, that's at nighttime and the mice sleep at the daytime. So that's the rest phase. So if you give the mice NAD boosters in the beginning of their active phase, which is their night or like our night, but their daytime, <laughs> then uh, they do see improvements in their um, metabolic health by taking the NAD boosters. But if you flip it, you give them the NAD boosters at their, their rest phase when they're sleeping, then it doesn't improve and actually has uh, pathological or you know, negative consequences. And in some ways that applies to exercise as well, in my opinion, because yeah, NAD already boosts NAD levels, but it uh, helps to align the circadian rhythms and keeps the body, the circadian clocks in sync. So you shouldn't like, you know, exercise in the middle of the night. Of course, you know, there are people who do shift work. There are people who can't exercise at any other time other than 2 a.m. or 4 a.m. Then, of course, I still think that, uh, like, it shouldn't, it shouldn't mean that don't exercise at all. It's probably the association of this 
uh, cardiovascular disease and stroke is probably even greater if you don't exercise. So exercise is a way to counteract some aspects of uh, circadian disruption and shift work. Uh, but if you can, ideally, you should still do it like in the like naturally the uh, active phase begins for humans, which is in the morning, and uh, that helps to synchronize the circadian clocks and keeps you healthier. Exercising in the afternoon is probably still fine. Like you shouldn't worry that that uh, you have to stop exercising at 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. because uh, obviously the exercise will still improve your health no matter the time of when you do it. It's just that exercising in the morning may provide like additional health benefits, especially in like the general population, the normal people <laughs> who don't take it like super seriously. They're not, you know, in particularly super like vigorous and uh, super consistent with the exercise. What you can definitely do is maintain your circadian rhythm alignment, morning daylight exposure, block blue light at night. And the best thing for that, uh, besides, you know, making sure that you exercise at the right time and getting sunlight, is to also use blue blocking glasses and red light bulbs to make your body produce more melatonin before bed and make sure that you get the best night's sleep. The brand I'm using and that has the best lenses that filter out the specific wavelengths that inhibit melatonin production is Bond Charge. They also have a 25% Black Friday sale. So you can head over to bondcharge.com forward slash seamlund and you can get their blue blocking glasses and other steep tech for 25% off. But on that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seam. Stay optimized, stay empowered.